Mega is an improvised satire from the staff of a fictional megachurch, and this episode was recorded live on Twitch. I'm Hallie Labonte, and this is Mega, coming to you from Twin Hills Community Church, where every single week we give our mega church a tiny family feel, introducing you to members of our church staff, sometimes people from our community. It's a treat and a treasure. Well, per usual, I'm joined by my co-host. He's the youth pastor for our high school ministry called Climax. Please welcome Gray Haas. Preaching his word and feeling so good, Hallie. How are you? I am so good. I am too grateful to be hateful. How are you? How are your kids at Climax? Hallie, I hate to brag, but I will just for a second because all oh. the glory is his, but some of it is mine. I am on fire awesome. this week at Climax <laughs> between Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, all the different activities and uh, services that we've been doing. I've had seven teenagers faint or pass out while I am preaching. That is how impactful these messages have been. Oh, I wanted to it's tell you It's been this. so good. I mean... I kind of feel a bit like a rock star because I'm like, oh, you know, I've heard of people doing that at the Beatles and, you know, um, definitely at like a Ricky Martin concert or something. But Mm. I just... You know, I, I must be in my zone, Hallie. Yeah. It's it's really good, and uh, luckily no one's gone hurt as far, far as I know. I was going to tell you. Um, Feeling amazing. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, I, I've I can't been, wait to tell Steve. I've been meaning to tell you this. My son, Day, um, who comes to Climax, he was telling me that a lot of the kids are doing this new trend where they hold their breath until they pass out because then they get to go to the nurse's station and she gets some frappuccinos from the cafe. What? Yeah, they're like trying to get out of praise and worship and stuff. Uh, no, I don't think that's true. You don't Ellie. think so? I don't think so because the style of preaching that I'm doing right now oh. is all about the cliffhanger. Hmm. And yes, maybe they are holding their breath, but they're holding their breath because they are hanging on tight for the ending of my sermons that usually just blow their minds. I mean, sometimes I think it's like, you know, a thrilling movie or a really good TikTok or something. Well, the story of Christ is compelling. Yeah, it is. It's really compelling. And the way I've been doing it is really compelling. Okay. So cool. I just, you know, it's like fast and the furious, but preaching. Cool. I got to talk today. I'm going to check at the cafe. Um, Anyway, how was your week, Hallie? Well, turns out I was holding my breath this week, too. Oh, really? Yeah. What, what's going on? Well, I might need uh, your prayer. I covet your prayers. Um, turns out I might have a cyst on an ovary. And my doctor says it's probably nothing to worry about. And, you know, it could be a routine thing, but it feels kind of scary. Are you? Gray, are you okay? What are you doing? Are you holding your breath? Yeah. I, I just... um. I, I really don't want to talk about this. Okay, so I'm on week two of drinking Magic Mind every day, and honestly, I feel great. I don't have to caffeinate in the afternoon. I've been sleeping better. It's helped me stay focused and alert while I'm working on the podcast. In fact, I think Gray would be dropping some Magic Mind in his shakes every single day. Magic Mind comes in a little shot. It's packed with 12 functional ingredients that includes matcha, nootropics that make you focus, and adaptogens that help you fight off stress. It's created to be taken daily for a sharper mind, steady energy, immune support, and best thing, I'm not wired. I'm inspired. Magic Mind, I think I just came up with your new slogan. Hey, give it a shot. They have a money back guarantee. Any first purchase is refunded. No questions asked if it doesn't meet your expectations. We actually have a special offer for mega listeners from the folks at Magic Mind. Head on over to magicmind.co slash mega and use our discount code at checkout to get 20% off your first order. That's magicmind.co slash mega. And thanks, Magic Mind. Jeez.
Jesus sweat and prayed in the garden of Gethsemane. Our guest today, she sweats and prays in the gardens around Twin Hills. Welcome back to the program, Miss Janie Meyer. I can't believe I'm back on the program. Thank you for having me. It's me, Janie. Oh, Cheney, we are so glad that you are still with us and uh, were able to join us today because as many people know around here, you run all things, uh, grounds, grass, gardens, plants, anything that's outside you are in charge of and you are one of our oldest staff members and maybe one of the oldest members of our church. And so it's just, we're just so grateful that you're even here. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what. I am loving my grounds work these days. Oh, really? We have got full boulders and smite parts of the garden. And we've got, <laughs> I've got baby Jesus. He's shaped like a, like a, the, it's basically birds of prey is the okay. name of the plant. But I put little eyes on him and I swaddle. Okay. I oh, swaddle cool. the plant, and it's my baby Jesus. Oh, like in a manger, but in a bird of prey parrot of uh, in a bird of prey bush. Yeah. Wow. Now, Janie, I well, do. I think you're right. It is bird of paradise. <laughs> bird of prey is a whole different plant. It, it's a. In, it's usually found in Phoenix, Phoenix, Arizona. That's where you vacation, isn't that right? Phoenix, uh, Arizona? If you're going to get me on a plane, it better land in Phoenix. That's what I always say, because there's no place better to get delicious food than the Phoenix airport. Is that right? What do you get? Do they have sushi? What do you do? Sushi? Oh, my. No, they've got a restaurant called Teddy Sandwiches, and it is delicious. Teddy's sandwiches, yes. And out at Phoenix Airport's where I get outfits like this, just oh, that's flowing, gorgeous. beautiful oh, Aztec yeah. designs. And, uh, and and actually, my headband is also from the Phoenix Airport. Sometimes I fly in, stay for six hours, and head right on home. Is that right? What about that long, chunky necklace? Is that a Chico, or is that also from the Phoenix? <laughs> yeah, no, I love my Chico. I love a Chico. Uh, but I bought this at a rummage sale. Wow. I, you know what? You know I love my garage sales, because I've seen you at some of the garage sales around. I get the newspaper, and I'm there at 6 a.m. I got to get the good stuff. And you know who I'm always vying with at the early garage sales? The Amish. The Amish love a garage sale. Oh, they sure do. And we can identify them by their garb. Isn't that right? Okay. Yep. You know, I just want to get us back because I'm not sure if anyone is going to be interested in that. But I do want to point out, Janie, you have done something amazing just out on the lawn. And I guess you're calling it a hedge of protection. And I just Ooh, love that. Yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful hedgerow as you come into the church now. And you're basically walking up, I would say, a football field length of boxwood hedges and all through it you have just done the ma amazing topiary work that just says you're entering a hedge of protection and i really where'd you get that idea i just love that well unfortunately for me i once saw a movie called the shining oh. i don't like to say that word because it is not as uh, as you might imagine. I hear The Shining. I think we're going to see something about maybe some kid stars or sure. you know right. they got oh I shine bright like a diamond. No, this was terrifying. And oh. the only part of the movie I enjoyed was that amazing maze of hatches. Oh, so cool. I thought, how can I get back these two hours of uh, nightmare viewing, I'm going to build something at oh. the church to rectify me watching that Jack is a naughty boy do his damage. So that's where I got the idea, frankly. From a scary movie. From I mean, a God scary in mysterious movie. ways. Wow. He sure Amazing. does. He works, he works in mysterious ways. And I think anybody entering the hedge is going to feel that because, and not hopefully think about that movie, which is, yeah, I think uh, definitely not where I thought we were, uh, where, where I would ever. You've seen it, Gray? 
Uh, you know, I've n- we have a different movie in Australia. We've got this movie. It's it's The Shining is based on it, actually. Really? Yes, and it's called the, the The Little Tin Boy. Instead of a hotel, it's a campsite in the outback, and, it's, and he's being chased around by killer kangaroo. I don't really want to get into it, but uh, yeah, the little tin boy. He says red rum, and he does all the things. Oh, cool! But um, yeah, no hedges in that movie. So it's a, but actually based on an Australian movie. That sounds terrifying. Oh. I, I, I kangaroo. Kangaroo on the loose? No, have, have thank you. Ever you. Seen I mean, those come kangaroo now, pictures please. where they're like showing their pecs and their huge muscles. These like male kangaroos are like weightlifters or powerlifters or something. You ever seen that? Thank goodness, no, I have not, and I don't want to see it. And I'll promise you this: I'll never shave a bush in that shape. You know what, Janie? I do have to say I was just tickled to death when I was first checking out the hedge of protection that you were growing and trimming. And, and I hear a voice on the other side. On the other side. And I said, Janie? And you said, oh, and I startled you. You said I was praying a hedge of protection upon my hedge of protection so that no demons can pass this point. And when people are in the hedge of protection, they will be um, protected by the powerful name of Jesus. I thought that was so cool that you were giving us a double hedge. Totally. Well, you know my uh, love of rhyming. So a lot of times when I'm praying fast, I'm actually crapping. And I have read there in the Guinness Book of World Records, a rapper out of Michigan named Marshall Mathers. He's in the Guinness Book for a certain amount of words per for a song titled something very blasphemous, Rap God. No, thank you. Don't do it. Get your butt through it. So I thought, well, you know what? When I'm praying over my plants, what if I could beat his record? Now, how nice would it be for me at 79 years old to be in the Guinness Book of World Records for hitting a certain amount of words per second, just like this young man has done? Well, it sounds like you're probably pretty close. I'd love to hear what you've been working on. You know what? Chicken butt. Let's try it. Okay. So I approach the hedge and I'm like, you better grow and you got to get your arms up and get you grow and then you got to get grow because you have a hedge of protection, no no erection, no protection, get your head up. And then it's, it's, it's like that, it but it's like seven or eight hours. You better grow, grow, grow. The Lord is on, he's got his eye on you and you better not get the dang old flu because it's time for you to hit the sky. You're a hedge of protection and you're my guy. Well, all right then. Did you time me? Did you time me? I didn't did time, time it, but me? I could barely understand it was going so fast. So the fast. words were just pouring out like, of you. What a English? God thing. That was well, so listen, cool. listen to this part. As someone this guy was going to one of the other one hitch. And it was now received. The Lord is having a man of Job. Jacob, Jacob, kind of goes, and he that her name is Ruth. You see that? Those were all words. Wow. But you could only catch a few, probably, because that's me at my top speed. Okay, because I heard, I definitely heard Jam Job. And mm-hmm. I heard her name is Ruth in there somewhere. Uh-huh. But Ruth. The, yeah, Ruth. Very I just good. told you the whole story of Ruth. If you could slow it down, oh. you'd be able to hear it. I wow. I wonder uh, if it's like backmasking when they put satanic backmasking messages into, into uh, hard rock albums and you pick up the satanic messages. I wonder if when we listen to you speed rap, if we're still picking up the truths of the story. I only understood one third of what you just said, but I'm going to go ahead and say, yep, that's it. You know, Janie, if you weren't white and 79, I would say you could be in Hamilton. Oh, how fun to be in Lin-Manuel's opus, Hamilton. It's... Watch it on Disney Plus at July 3rd, 20. 20- Did it make you so proud to be an American? Some parts. Now, Janie, I noticed over the pandemic that everybody got to take long breaks from work except for you. You were out there tooling around uh, spring, summer, fall, and winter. You were out there in a raincoat. You were planting the tulip bulbs. In the summer, you were on your your big John Deere riding mower just scooting along the water. I mean, you worked the whole time. 
I did. I tried to stay home a little bit, and and uh, and you know, a lot of the church officials were uh, encouraging it, so I I stayed home for a, a a moment. But you know what, chicken butt, I gotta get out there and do what I do. Right. I have to do it, or else you'd have some kind of secret garden when you tried to come back. If I didn't take care of things. Yep. Then you'd come back and you wouldn't see the dang church. You'd be hidden by all my greenery. Totally. And then you'd say, is it a secret world? And I'd be inside of it going, it is a secret garden. Now, Janie, uh, I remember you were married. How's your husband? Oscar is fine. Oh, he's, good. He's, he's, uh, he's just hit 85. I'm, oh. of course, 79. I'm heading into a major birthday, BTW. Ooh. Oscar's fine. He won't come with me, as you know, to any of the church activities. And mm. I, I don't know if you saw in the newsletter, but I've been hosting that water aerobics on Tuesday mornings. Oh, awesome. that is so great. I I'm in the pool. You're right here in the Twin Hills Olympic-sized pool leading yep. water aerobics. That must be That's why you right. look so fit. Oh, I'll tell you what, chicken butt. You're heading into 80. You'd better get that body in shape. And when I'm riding my mower or trimming my hedges, it's not cardiovascular. It's just toning. Okay. That's just toning. Uh-huh. Yeah, when you're shaking on a John Deere, is it like one of those, remember how they used to put you in one of those things that would jiggle your fat in, in, in the 80s and, 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 and it would make you like, um, it would it was like a workout uh, just from sitting there letting these, uh, what was that? Have you ever seen that? I don't know. I wasn't even born in the 80s. Um, oh, I was around. And let me tell you, it's called a shake mater. And it, it's supposed to stimulate your cellulite and remove those pockets by using belts to whip them into a frenzy. Wow. So do you get... Get on your shape and get in the shape. You get in the shape and get the body. You use the cellulite because that's how your body gets on your body. Wow. That was, oh, that was about two dozen words. I think that is just amazing. <sighs> I'm so... so glad that you reminded us you can do that. Yeah, I think you're better than this Marshall Mather that nobody's heard of. No. The only Marshalls I want is the one where I can buy a nice 3X blouse for $19.99. Isn't that right? Now, Janie, I did want to uh, ask you because uh, a, a lot of people had been, uh, I think I think the word was at first a bit confused or surprised, but then I reminded them you had a great long career as a young performer in vaudeville. And it's just so wonderful to me that you have continued that tradition because every now and again, I'll see you out by your mower doing a little routine. Is it the Chuggaloo? Is that the is that the little song and dance you were doing? And what what is that? It's called the Chuggaloo, and you swing your partner left and right. Yes, I I usually do the Chuggaloo. It's a reminder to keep hydrated. Oh, okay. When I'm a uh, that's how I use the famous song, the Chuggaloo, which was was made uh, was made known during vaudeville by little teeny Thompson, who was one of the cutest little performers you ever did see. Uh, unfortunately, died at twelve of the Spanish flu. Oh no! But at, before that point, that that was the original Chuggaloo, and it was at that time about chugging down your medication. Oh, okay. I use it for water. Okay. Now, that's amazing, Janie. I'm just realizing you lived through the Spanish flu and COVID. You lived through two pandemics. Oh, that is 100% correct. I welcome the third because, as we all know, things happen in threes. Okay. And as long as I take good care of myself, keep up with my aerobics and keep up with my... I mean, I've lived through a lot. I've yeah. been around this world in a trunk, many times literally. Oh, really? In a trunk? Do you know how hard it is to travel when you're part of a vaudevillian cavalcade? Uh, no. Wow, what is a cavalcade? We've got animals. We've got people. We've got animals and people. It's a lot. And, I, and they put you literally in a trunk? Many times. Oh, I'm so My sorry. My parents, you know, they needed to keep an eye. Well, it had holes. That's how they slipped me the candy. So, Janie, what are your hopes and dreams for your 80th birthday party? Uh, you know, I already spoke to Steve, Pastor Steve, and I said, I would love 
to do something on the grounds. Awesome. Oh, that is, and, and what did he say? He said, I'll let you know. <laughs> that sounds just like it. So I feel it's promising. And if he doesn't say so, then I'm going to grab old grumpy Oscar and we're going to head out to the Phoenix airport. And maybe we'll even go into Phoenix because Ooh. I hear they have a zoo that's very nice. I will, of course, avoid the kangaroo. And I'd also like a cake. I'd love my children to gather. They're scattered to the wind. I, My grandkids. I just would hope everyone could get together and we could have a, have a, have a, bit of punch, some cake. You both are invited. Oh, oh I will be there, Janie. Are you going to do like a, a rhyming speech that night to your loved ones and your children and friends? Well, I've been work. I've been working on it. In my 80th birthday, I'm going to say, I'm going to get behind my baby. I'm going to get anything. I'm going to eat the cake. I just said 28 words. Oh, wow. I love that. I think I'm starting to pick them up. I'm starting to hear it. Well, remember back in the day, it was, okay, here we go. And I could only maybe rhyme six words. It would be like, I drive a car. It goes very far. Well, uh, you know, in the pandemic, I really put pedal to the metal on my solo trips all over the grounds on my uh, mower. And I went for it, working. Working rhymes, slack rhymes, hitting the hitting the words. Yeah, I can really tell you worked on it. Yeah, it's, your it's skill so is incredible. Janie, do you ever, and maybe this is a sore subject, but do you ever consider retirement? Because you're 80 years old. It seems like you've never stopped working from a very young age when you were oh, locked yeah. in a trunk all the way through the time right. that you you know yeah. tied to a mower. So I really would love to know, is that something you're considering? Are you just going to, as they say, you know, uh, work until you, you die? Or do they say that? I will work until I die. Oh, and okay. that is my plan, Mr. Man. Okay. You don't have to grab me by the shirt to tell me that. Yeah, I have to hold you close to let you know something. The minute I retire is the minute the world's on fire. Okay? Look me in my eyes. I'll take this chunky okay. necklace off and I'll shove it down your throat if you mention me retiring one more day. Okay. Ow. So sorry. Sorry. Did she grab some chest hair? Yeah. Hallie, I don't have chest it felt, hair. It felt smooth as a baby oh. bottom under that oh, shirt. Oh, you shave? Do you shave your whole body, Rick Hallie, Gray? Absolutely not. I do infrared hair removal. I do a lot of that with the uh, Lazy Susans. I've always thought it was called the Black Eyed Susan. Oh, I like the lazy Susan. You know what? Other churches have birds of paradise. We have birds of prey. Other churches have black-eyed Susans. We got the lazy Susans. That's what sets us apart. Exactly, Hallie. I could sit here and, and describe to you the intricate ins and outs of hundreds of species of plant and flower, but you wouldn't want to hear me giving you all my expertise on those beautiful plants. You know, we've we've got the green chairs. We've got the purple ladies dancing. We've got the five lords of leaping. We have dance, dance, revolution. There are plants you wouldn't know. You're enjoying them on the grounds, but you don't know their names. I do. Uh, okay, you grabbed my shit. I, wow. I felt the hair that time. Uh, no, you didn't. Wow, you're really strong. Anyway, I just would say that, um, and not to bring this up, and I'm not saying the word, I'm just saying maybe you, is it ever something that you consider that you work too much and you could give yourself more of a break and maybe that break eventually could be permanent where you don't have to go to work anymore and you're just staying at home? No, I, I tell myself, don't not work yeah. and don't rest and don't not appreciate your job. Do go to work and don't not accept a paycheck. Do ride the mower. Don't not walk in snow boots. Do trim the hedges. Don't not not watch scary movies. These are words to live by. Janie, this Thank is you. incredible. Please. I'm just going to throw something at you. <laughs> I'm 
And I do just want to say, Janie, um, I hadn't told Gray about this, but you were telling me about your cold water swim club that you were getting gals to come do some cold water bathing in the in, right here in our retention pond on campus, and you all have the matching flower. Uh, uh, bathing caps and that, and that it's very invigorating for your health to get in freezing cold waters. Yes, this is a practice as old as time. Put on a bathing cap covered in flowers and go in the buff in retaining pools or other cold water vessels. You're not wearing a suit? Nude as baby Jude. Well, that's good that it's because it's a women's only group, right? You're trying to recruit gals. I've been thinking about it. I've been considering Harry, it. you should do it. I can't tell you how great it feels to sit with your naked butt on a slimy little retaining wall of a tiny pond and look over and see your gal pals enjoying the same commune with nature. It's how Eve was. In the garden. And you know how I feel about our grounds being my own personal Eden. I have such a strange relationship with my own nakedness. I Even in the shower, I feel uncomfortable. I ve- use a very thick loofah so that I don't even touch my own naked body. Hi. I feel like with you and the cold water gals, I could maybe learn a little bit more about like being comfortable in my own, you know, mortal coil, so to speak. I love that for you. In fact, I often bring my long hallway mirror that I got at Target, and we all stand over the mirror lined up, and we look at our own vagina. We stand right in a line, and we just, we look over and down, and it's very healing. I'm in really? my own does, personal nightmare. Does it just look like a, a line of snails waiting to get into a club? I have to ask because uh, I've never seen what I have going on in my pants, so to speak. And um, I mean, how do you feel when you look when you look at your own body in that way? I mean, what happens to you? It's like looking into the mouth of a Venus flytrap. Ooh, I, I, it sounds right to me. I'm just going to offer up a prayer uh, quickly because <laughs> I just, God has put it on my heart to pray for Janie because I, you know, I, and I don't know where this comes from other than, you know, uh, God, I just uh, want to offer up Janie as just one of your servants who is just working so hard, Lord, for everything that oh. you, all your, all your plans here at Twin Hills. And I just, Lord, I really just want to encourage her to talk about the things that we all want to hear about uh, in as a part of your creation, and and, and that can in, that includes and is not limited to the grounds, uh, vaudeville, maybe rhyming words, but it, it, and anything beyond that, Lord, I would just encourage you to have her steer back toward. The things that um, that we all uh, know and love in in Jesus and Christ's name specifically, we pray, Amen. Oh, thanks. And that, that was beautiful. Now I'm going to offer up a prayer for you, Gray. Okay. Ooh, dear Lord, please let the Gray when the universe saying because you don't know when I'm a Venus. I'm crying, but the Gray when I see you, gonna get on the scene, get never done. So when I go to the man, I'm a lamb, 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 that was a powerful prayer. Wow. And Thank God you. heard every word. Every you know, word. God yeah, has good ears. He can decipher. That is incredible, uh, Janie. I mean, I really feel the power of prayer here tonight. This is incredible. Yeah, I don't know if I do, God, but. No, God is his own recording device. He knows how to slow down the audio and speed it up. Oh, uh, Janie, that is beautifully That's put. incredible. And I do have to say, Janie, that I think the flowers and plants on this campus are the luckiest flowers and plants uh, of foliage and fauna and all of that and in the whole wide world because I was reading something in a Highlights magazine or some such in the dentist's office uh, waiting room about how it's good to talk to your plants because you give them your carbon yes. uh, footprint. Uh, yes. <laughs> and um, 
and that it makes them more healthy. And if you're walking around the grounds, um, talking to your plants and um, praying and, and rhyming, I mean, that's why this is such an excellent, like beautiful, perfect campus. Well, and I thank you for that. You know, as I'm gearing into my final chapter of years, I have found that there is one thing that has held me close besides the loving arms of Jesus Christ, and that is my two feet on the earth planted down. And I will move, as it says in Galatians 11, 11, I will move within this world through the plants and I will sniff the nectar and that will be my commune with the Lord. So says it, that is be done said now. Awesome. I'm not familiar with that one, that, that Galatians, but I love that, and it's powerful. You know, Janie, I did want to ask you, how is your relationship with God, especially during all the, these last two years, Has it, how, and how have you grown closer to Him? We've grown closer sheerly by the fact that my husband Oscar is so dang sick of me that I often have no one to speak to but God and the plants. Oh, I see. Oscar and I tried to watch... A few series together. Which ones? Survivor season one through 22. Uh, Luther, the Babysitter's Club. We can never agree. If I enjoy it, he wants none of it. If he enjoys it, I want none of it. So finally, we've begun for our first time in this many years of marriage to sleep in separate rooms oh, no. of the house. It's okay. I don't have to hear his sleep apnea machine whirling in my ear like a dang tornado. I mean, is part of the problem there between Survivor, Luther, and Babysitter's Club, you're sort of scattershotting the the genre a bit too far that maybe you two should discuss something that you like. Before. Well, speak of, speaking of scattershot, we just write down the names of series on little slips of paper, and then we reach into a bowl. That oh, might be our problem. We I have see. no discussion. It's more of a random thing. I see. And so you watched all 25 seasons of Survivor before yes, you decided and to let me t- You want to talk about plants. They got them. <laughs> I also got that bowl we put the piece of papers in at the Phoenix airport. Oh. Beautiful mosaic sides on this thing. Every angle different to the eye. Now, you know, things cost more at the airport. That's because it's quality merchandise. Is that right? That's you buy cool. something at the airport, it's quality. Well, Janie, speaking of vaginas, um, why is it that flowers so often, if you really look into a flower and its blossoms and its pistols and stamens or whatnot that's in there, you you can really kind of, um, I mean, I, I couldn't, but like say, uh, um, oh, what is that? What kind I've of- I've got one right here. This is what they call a grocery store variety orchid. Awesome. Now tell me that doesn't look like a tiny vagina flower. I mean, I really, I just really want to offer up another prayer, Lord, that uh, you've put on my heart. And I would just pray, Lord, that we go ahead and circle back, Lord, to some of the important work that you're doing here at Twin Hills that doesn't have in, anything to do with um, it, it, the comparison, the, these these comparisons, Lord. Barry, amen, amen. Sometimes I look at a flower and it makes me want to bake because of the similar word to flower. Oh, really? And flower. And I think to myself, it might be time for some cookies. Here we go. Got it. Raisins, oatmeal, sugar, flour. Put two eggs in. Use your power. Roll them up and mark them with a B and put them in the oven for Oscar and me. Why do you mock them with a B? The Beatitudes that Jesus uh, talked about on the Sermon of the Mount? I, I mock them with a B because of beauty. And there's nothing more beautiful than a cookie in my mouth. Awesome. That is so awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, well, I, I just thank you so much, Janie, for bringing your expertise and uh you know, I guess if I could offer a prayer, it would be a hedge of protection around you uh, 
and that maybe the protection, the, the hedge could also surround me. Because I did learn a few things I'd, I'd like to forget. Let's get into that hedge together and we'll work to find our way out. Okay? And if we can't, we will simply sing an old vaudevillian song called Lead Me to the Exit. Lead me to the exit. It's time for me to go. Lead me to the exit. Guess what? It's the end of the show. Lead me. Lead me. And I'll follow you too. Lead me to the exit. And our love will be true. It's a vaudeville classic. Janie Meyer was played by Jamie Moyer. She is one of my all-time favorite humans. God, she's so funny and genuinely kind and brilliant. Follow her at Jam Detroit. I'm Holly Laurent playing Hallie Labonte, and Gray Haas was played by Greg Hess. Follow us and Mega the Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. And if you really want to get out of hell free card, support us on Patreon. The link is in the show notes. <laughs>